shore fishing in waders with a box of smaller lures and a light rod is one of my favorite ways to get up close with pike. This style of fishing can be done almost anywhere and is a great way to experience the different environments where you can find pike. Where we are now is a little brackish water inlet. The ocean's actually just right around the corner out there. And we're in the southern Denmark where the salinity is not too high, so the ocean can hold pike. And these little inlets like this, they can hold a higher concentration of the pike, which actually move in and out of here. Some days this will be completely empty, and some days it'll be stacked in here. And the saltwater pike are cool. They are uh, sometimes a little bit stronger, a little bit lighter coloration. And sometimes they just hit those baits real hard. They can be real aggressive because they don't see a lot of food in a long time. And conditions change and they're used to when they suddenly see food, they got to eat. There is a lot of vegetation in the brackish water. There can be herring, roach, and even small cod here. But the pike in these very shallow waters mainly feed on tiny prey items like sticklebacks, gobies, and even small shrimp. Sometimes they'll find a place to hide out and wait for food to swim by, but most often they'll be moving actively searching for prey. Here we see a well-nurtured brackish water pike on the prowl searching for food. To me, this is perfect pike weather. You have overcast, cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of rain, and a real rough wind like this. It just gets the pike feeding. I think the main reason that uh, weather like this is good is the way it moves the water and the surface gets all ripply, so it doesn't allow as much light to come down. Plus, when you don't have blue skies and a lot of sun, you get less light coming through the water. And that means less visibility, which can be a bad thing if the pike can't see your bait. But when the water's clear like it is here today, they can still see your bait from a distance, but the limited visibility because of the, the overcast... Uh, that was just the bottom. The limited visibility means that the pike have a hard time seeing that your bait is actually a deception and not a real fish. Fish on! Perfect pike weather. Nice fish. Got those beautiful brackish colors. Fish can be in great shape this early fall. that bait going full speed. Not the least bit shy. That's how we like them. When the water's fairly clear like it is here, 
it still limits visibility when you got the rough choppy weather and not too much sun and that means that the the pike can't see your bait quite as well so they're going to be easier deceived and they're also when you're fishing real fast like I am right now suddenly it's going to be within sight and they're not going to have a lot of time to react and often that'll trigger a strike because they'll see a bait fish come swimming by and not have too much time to think about it and just strike it for instinct and that also means that the strikes you get on a day like this are sometimes going to be pretty nice and hard when you're fishing real fast like I am now. The lure I'm using is a little jerk bait in sort of natural pike imitation colors. The shape doesn't necessarily look like a pike, but it's still in conditions like this. Natural colors are always a good, good bet. And the pike coloration is kind of a color you can never go wrong with it. Especially in brackish water like we are now, I tend to like the natural colors best. Either the green, and yellow, sort of pikeish colors, or something that's copper, brown, that looks like some of the fish that swim around in the brown weeds here. When you're fishing in real windy conditions like this, it's often tempting to get on the other side of the shore so you can cast with the wind and you can cast twice as far. But uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that because often the real windy side of a lake or a little brackish inlet like where we are now is going to be where the fish tend to hole. Sometimes the, the wind just pushes either the bait or, or somehow manages to push the fish up against the shore. So even if we were out fishing from a boat today, I'd be out casting on the windy side where we are now. But on a day like this, I'd rather be fishing from shore. Being out in a boat when it's too rough is just kind of a mess. So perfect day for shore fishing. He's ready to come in. There we go. Beautiful fish. He's off. The wind picks up 
and makes the fishing very difficult. I move around to a point with a little calmer conditions. Another great color in the brackish water is this brown and copper style. And this one just got this tail bitten off. Yeah. 